Okay, after about 45 minutes of gathering gear, I uh, can't find my hammer, so I'm going to break open that lock using the crowbar. And then I'm going to clean it. And i got to get uh, pumped, because I doubt those tires are actually flat. They're just probably the air went out of them. Again, this machine is a rebike made in Boca Raton, given to me. So, uh, that's it. When you do the amount of bicycling that I do in a year, um, people can watch these. I've had a lot of results. I'm up almost to 2,200 hits. And um, you know, this is what I do. Some people play golf. Some, play, some people play poker. Others don't do anything. But, you know, the whole life for me is geared towards cycling. I keep stuff available. That's the raincoat. I check on the weather watch the traffic but what really really helps pardon the clutter folks is the space for your cycling equipment this is that new trike I'm going to work on I got the bolt cutters to work on that this is the backup bike which is a Schwinn it's about a year old extra large and uh, the ability I can go out the front door um, or I can go out this door. Sometimes I go out the front door of the house. But what I've just done is um, I've lubed up the chain with some uh, dried Teflon lube. And I'm going to go out for what I call one of the spur of the moment kind of rides because 85% um, of my rides are planned. In this particular case, what I'm trying to do is just to enjoy the first day of September. And I stood out here before and tried to get the street when it was very quiet and I wasn't able to. So this is a double lane parkway. And I do have um, film clips of the train that comes across the street. So while this looks very peaceful and serenic, uh, it's not always. Um, there's a lot of traffic. Monday through Friday. It slows down Friday afternoon actually. Right. If you look at the leaves, they're blowing. Uh, the sun is, it's after 4 o'clock, so since it's after 4 o'clock, I don't really have to worry about as much sun exposure. Um, and essentially, um, you know, it's a wonderful element of this lifestyle that you can keep your cycling equipment on the first ground. I've lived in places where I had to carry my bikes up 37 steps, but here it's an easy in and out. Well, I did five miles earlier today with a different video camera, and I don't know, it didn't work. But anyway, this is about turning on the lights, and uh, night riding is only safe if you have a lot of lights, and I do. See one by one to power them up. Uh, that's my main headlight. Over here is my two strokes. And basically these are all set up that I can uh, turn them on and off very easily. Um, I tried to look normal earlier. Never works. I have to use the goggles. Get on eyeglasses. I'm not using the helmet. I have bluegrass gospel on the headphones. And um, this kind of ride is more about using the night lights and thinking about. My son Jimmy, who's gone almost two years, uh, I typically do stuff about Jimmy about 
after uh, the anniversary of him leaving us. So this is the first one of those pieces. So I'm going to go have fun. Thinking about Jimmy the whole time because he was all about fun. <laughs>